The IMF team has been in the country for the last two weeks to look at the economic situation in the country. During their consultations, the team worked with various offices including the Ministry of Finance, Prime Minister Sarah Kuongelua Madila and the Bank of Namibia. It has observed that there is a fast growth in real estate prices combined with higher concentration of banks' mortgage lending that are posing risks to the financial sector and the economy. One key factor was the shortage of supply. And then on top of the shortage of supply, we also identified in the past that the structural, uh, some factors like uh, low interest rate um, or maybe um, some foreign investors buying lands for some, to gain some uh, short-term capital gains. So these actually multiple factors play the role for high house prices. The decline in revenue by the Southern Africa Customs Union, SACU, next year due to the slowdown of the South African economy is also another risk identified by the IMF. Once this revenue declined, then it would have pressures on fiscal balances, despite the fact that the government faces all the spending needs to do a good thing, but the revenue would decline. And once this SACU revenue declines, it would also have an impact on international reserves because these SACU revenues are denominated in land. This, all this could happen outside the control of Namibia. I would like to highlight that. The mission therefore encourages the government to shift toward a tight physical policy stance while safeguarding critical social and developmental needs. Government, however, remains optimistic that there are policy elements that will help mitigate the situation while maintaining economic growth. We shared with the mission that with regard to the reserves, we have also policy, in, policy interventions in mind that speak to import substitution, speak to capacity building in the productive sector so that we add value to raw materials and improve the value of our export commodities. We have infrastructure investments in the power sector which will enable us to produce our own power instead of buying it. That in itself has an import substitution effect. The team has compiled a report that will be presented to the IMF's executive board for discussion and decision, while their detailed report on the Namibian housing situation will be published in September. For Business Today, Donat Nishidudu, Vinduk.